This is Stephanie Miller, and I've got my two boys with me today. This one you met the other day. This is Reed, and then this one is James, and he's my older one. And they both wanted to do this craft with me today, and that's fine, and I'm all about it because kids should be doing some of these crafts. Um, the other day I painted, the last live I did, I painted this one, and this one is a little bit trickier. So I did that one on my own, but if I can have a craft that the kids can do, I'm all about having them take part in it. Okay, so the first, so I did this today. We're gonna, I don't know if you saw on my Facebook page that I have um, the navy pumpkins that I pasted on there. And oh gosh, is it Will Wilshire, Wilshire Company? I will let you know what it is because I saw her picture on Pinterest and she's actually in a craft group that I'm involved in. And um, she had this really cute post about how she had some Target pumpkins that she got from Dollar Tree and she painted. So I thought, what a cute idea. And I'm sure she does not mind because I'm um, completely taking her idea. <laughs> and I wanted to show you guys, but instead of me just doing it, I wanted to bring you on here to see how we do it. And it's the same thing when I do a live. Yeah, I see, so I see that. So it's the same thing when I do a live. I want you guys to be able to do the same thing and share it and try to do them just like the glitter pumpkins. That's the whole point of it. So, okay. I'm going to have you start painting. Sunday. What? Tell them what we did last week. Oh, yeah, that's right. Well, we were supposed to come on Sunday if you were waiting for us to do our craft that you were going to help with too. Don't tell them what it is because we're going to come back this Sunday because I'm so sorry, but we did not. I did not get to do it Sunday because I have a another part-time job and I had everything set up for Saturday and then they switched it on me to Sunday. So um, I didn't get back till late. So I'm so sorry, but we'll do it this Sunday and we're gonna show you what we're gonna do to fill this pot that I did the other day, if you guys watch that. Okay, so what Reed's gonna do is he's gonna start, if you wanna start painting this, buddy, you can start painting this with the blue. Um, so basically what I did is, what and she might do it a little bit different, but yeah, you can use that one, that's what I did. And then, we're gonna paint this one. I'm gonna have him paint this pumpkin. And I love these navy pumpkins. Oh, no, 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 just, yeah, no, no, just do that. Yep, yeah, like you can, boring. okay, or that too. So he's taking some paint and he's putting it in a little jar here. In the cap. In the cap, okay. Or you can put it in a jar. What? And, uh oh, uh oh. Okay, that's, that's, <laughs> you just got it all over it. Come on. Oh, buddy. You again, you got to be patient, but we can wash it out. What? Look it. What? Oh, yeah, oh. we have those, but that's right. We can do that later. Okay, so okay, so you can take this. He's going to start painting this, and I've already done one because I'm going to show you what I am um, going to do with this. I'm going to antique it a little bit, and if you saw on the picture, you can tell that there's a little bit of antiquing on it. I'm going to show you how we do that while he's painting it. So he's going to start painting it here. Hold on, bud. Let me, let me turn it to the camera. So he's starting to paint here. And when you do this, you have to make sure that in the tip here of the pumpkin, where those little creases are, you have to make sure you get that really good. And if you get the right soft bristle brush, then it'll go, you can kind of uh, line it up with the stem and the top of the pumpkin. Because we're going to paint this top, and I'm going to have James do that part, okay? I get the bristles. What am I going to paint it? Oh, yeah. So I'm gonna have you do this. You're gonna take the Maj Paj. I'm gonna give you another brush. We're kind of tight here, aren't we? Mm -hmm. Okay, That's so. Pissing me. Yep. Okay, so I think what I'll have you do first, I'll show him how I antique this because it'll dry quick. So while he's painting this, I'm gonna show you how I antique this. And I'm gonna take, oh darn. I don't think I brought that little paint out. Okay, you keep painting that and I'm gonna grab that little paint thing. Real quick, sorry, one second, because it's important. Hold on, James, just one second. Hi. Well, hey guys, we are Stephanie's kids. And, uh, okay, okay, so here. Okay, so then, Reed is painting, excuse me real quick, sweetie. Okay, so Reed is painting, and we took basically just this paint that you can probably find anywhere. It's the Waverly, and it's called Ocean. And then I got a lighter paint to do the antiquing. If you've never done antique and it's just gonna bring out the lines of the pumpkin or anything that you're painting. So yeah, you're doing good. Just keep going down the lines, kind of like we did when we were painting the glitter pumpkins. Oh yeah, like these lines. Yeah. Okay, so then I'm gonna open this up. They lock, they close these things up pretty good. 
Okay, so then I'm just gonna take a little paintbrush and just get a tiny little bit on my paintbrush, like this, just a tiny little bit. And, I, <laughs> okay, hi, good. See, I always forget to look at, um, we're on and people are watching, so hello, Katie, hello, Kim. Can you see the little, can you see the things there? Who's watching? And Jessica, Is that hi. Is Katie Gordon? Yeah, yeah. Well, hi. Okay, okay hi. so. Um, okay, so I'm, I took a little bit on my paintbrush, okay, of the lighter blue, and because the pumpkin has so many edges, I'm going to lightly brush this. I don't know if you can see this. And you're going to go around the whole pumpkin. You can probably do this, James. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm just going to lightly brush this, and you can kind of see. You can go all the way around it, so it's just going to bring out the edges of the pumpkin. Yeah, maybe don't, um, yeah, because that's how you get it on your shirt. Just try to dip out of the... Um, dip out of the jar because you know if you pour it then you're gonna okay so I'm just trying to tell them to leave it in the jar because then it'll make maybe less of a mess okay so you can go around and do all of this and this is kind of a little bit tricky because you just need to have the littlest bit on your brush like a really dry brush almost and go all around the lines of the pumpkin or the edges of the pumpkin do I have to paint the bottom no I don't usually paint the bottom that's a good question he's He's not painting the bottom of the pumpkin because when you sit it down and whatever you sit it on, it could stick. So, but, but you can if um, you want to because you can't really see the bottom like we did the glitter pumpkin. Okay. Yeah, we didn't. Yeah, we did a little bit on the, the glitter pumpkins. Try to go towards the bottom because I could see a little bit on the bottom of our pumpkins that they are um, that there's a little glitter missing. Okay, so you can go all around it. And you can kind of antique it a little bit. We'll work with this a little bit because you have to have it really pretty light. So you get the antique look. If you did, you guys see the picture of the um, the picture that I posted? It's so cool that she posted. Uh, it's Wilshire. Is it Wilshire? Now I can't remember because I didn't look at it before. But she did the cutest craft. Okay, so now this is what you get to do, James. So you're going to take this, and we're going to have Maj Podge. You can either use Maj Podge, or you can do silver paint. Or gold paint and I have both silver and gold glitter I want to do gold you want to do gold okay James wants to do gold because uh -huh. both are gonna look good so I'm thinking glitter stem with the pumpkin because this is pretty plain it's kind of like when you do makeup and you have like a frosty eye shadow and then you do like a more of a pale lip so that's not too much glitter it kind of offsets the plane so here you can take this buddy so you're, he's gonna dip in the Maj Podge, and this is dry, so you're gonna go ahead and just paint the stem, and then you can sprinkle the glitter on it. Okay, oh, no, just the stem, just the stem. Just the stem. That's all right, I can wipe it off. I'll take some of it. That's right, no, just get it, there you go. Okay, so you gotta really get in the creases of the stem because you want the glitter to stick. Oh yeah, here. That fine? Yeah, you could probably paint a little bit more down. And if you can kind of hold it up to the camera to show, you know what we should have done? We should have been a little bit smarter and got our paint shirts on. Okay. Okay, so go ahead and put it down. Okay. And James over here is working on... Yeah, I'm not good at this. Okay, the only thing is, buddy, is that you have... He's kind of got a lot on the top. So... Whoops, yeah, here. Um, he's kind of got a lot on the top, so I'm taking some of this off because it'll it'll just puddle there and sit there for a while. Here, can you take that lid off and I'll put this back in? Yeah. And once again, if you're painting with children, you just got to go with the flow. <laughs> Ooh, it's hard for me to let them into my crafting sometime because I've got... Oh, you're going to go wash your hands? Okay. I think it's better. Okay. So then... Whoa, oh, wait. You got it. Okay, so he's painting all around you with the Maj Paj because we've got to get the glitter to stick. Let's see. Can we, let's see if there's any. Oh, look at Ben says hi. Say hi. Ben says hi. Do you see that? Hey. So okay. Ben. So he's got this really good. So I'm just going, I'm just going around the edges and we're painting yeah, all the way from the bottom. got some of that stuff on my face. I did. It splash. Oh, good. And he painted the tip. So we're going, he painted everything. So now... Okay, yeah, just, just leave it. 
Okay, so you pick gold, right? You pick gold, James? Yeah. So now we've got our paper because we're gonna catch the glitter. Remember how we did before with the big poster board? And I'm gonna hold this up and then you can sprinkle the glitter on the edge, okay? Nope. 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 There we go. And we and I got these big things of glitter just because um, I use so much of it. Okay, go ahead and sprinkle on the edge. If you want to scoot in here a little bit, so the you can edge see. The stem. Just, uh, sorry, the stem. I can't just But just the edge. You can. Mom, dang it, I'm horrible at this. Okay, that's all right. Mommy. Mm -hmm. Okay, we're not going to do that one yet because if you pour that one on there, it's just going to stick to the Whoa. pumpkin. Whoa. Okay, so we're pouring all the way around, just the top. Yep. And you have to wait until your pumpkin's dry before you do this next step. Okay, so now look how cool this is. I love glitter. I think glitter makes everything better. That's just me. Okay. Put some on the top. Well, I did. I got it on the top here. Oh, you did? So cute, right? Do you see that? So cute. It's got some warts on it. <laughs> it does. It does. The, the pumpkin's got a warty side. Boogie warts. Grandma always loves that. You know that? Yeah. She yeah. always picks out the warty pumpkins because she feels bad for them. <laughs> No. Okay. So, um, so that one's super cute. And I think the next one that we do, it's all wet right now, but we'll do the top one silver and then we'll see which ones you guys like better. And then in the picture, what she did is she set it out with like a couple succulent flowers in a little vase in the background. And I just thought that that was so cute. So I thought I would um, try it and show you all. So I bought two other like paper mache type pumpkins that I thought about maybe painting like orange and black and other Halloween colors. So we'll come back on maybe later this week and do that. And if you guys want to, oh, don't pull it. <laughs> I was just, just going to try to scare you. Uh -huh. Okay. All right. So then what we do with our excess glitter that's laying here, you just pour it back in and then you can save it. I'm sure all of you have worked with glitter before. Like we did, so you know how to do that. With the, um, um, the other glitter. Yeah, we did the other glitter um, with the pumpkin. So that is it. That's our craft for today. You can do this in any color. Be creative. You can do it with like black if you want and then do like a glitter orange stem. How cute would that be? Or like a green pumpkin with like a purple glitter stem and put a few of them together. So they're all sitting out for Halloween. And uh, we'll come back Sunday with our other craft that we're going to fill that pot with. So if you have any questions, uh, let me know. And then I'm going to start sharing. I'm going to start uh, mailing these to people. So I don't think, I don't know if we'll do this one though, but in the future crafts that I can actually ship out, I'll, I'll go ahead and do a winner type thing and we'll go ahead and start shipping them. So thanks so much for watching. Hopefully that gives you some ideas to do and we will see you soon. All right. Bye.